it's almost time. It says that it's almost six degrees outside in the greenhouse. So I will be taking out, I think now I have three or four trays of my brassica seeds and um so i sold everything i sold all my cauliflower all my broccoli all my cabbages and i am also adding a couple other stuff i have a uh, a helper with me today hello and welcome back to the homestead my name is annie and yesterday or the video before i talked about a new way of growing i will uh, link on the top here. I am trying to grow brassicas in my greenhouse without any supplemental light. Brassicas are cabbages, cauliflower, broccoli, um, all that, all that family is called brassicas. And uh, as I was sowing seeds, I was seeing a theme, you know, my tomatoes, I was going colorful and striped. And in my cabbages, <laughs> I kind of went the same way without knowing it. And I'm just, I want to share with you what I plan on doing with all this food because um, I don't talk about it. I should probably talk it, talk about it more. I grow as much as I can. My goal is six to 12 months of food for my family in my pantry. So preserving means dehydrating, means freezing, canning, uh, anything I can do to preserve food so that I can have it on a long period of time and vegetables being one of the things that are the most expensive right now. It encourages me to grow as much as I can in my small garden. And I just want to show you what I decided to do. Uh, you know, I'm not going to show you everything, but I just want to show you the colors and the color, the, the different colors that I chose and what I plan on doing with uh, each each thing. I'm watching my timer religiously. As soon as it hits um, 10 degrees, I will bring the brassicas outside in the greenhouse and I will put a dome over the um, over the tray so that I can gain a little bit more degrees so I can have that 15 degrees Celsius optimal conditions for the seeds to germinate in, uh, in the greenhouse. So I just want to show you a little bit what I'm what I'm growing obviously I'm growing the classics like the the broccoli I will be uh, blanching it and freezing it I'm growing uh, green cabbages I'm growing red cabbages and um, I want to try to do um, sauerkraut and I will be freezing the um, the cabbages and I'm also trying the Asian cabbages like I like I said colorfuls I have the classic Asian and I'm also trying this variety to see if I can like add a little bit of color to anything we eat um those types the Asian cabbages we just like it in stir fries and uh I was never really able to grow a big amount of I think I had like two or three last year to grow so I never really was able to have a lot of them but it is something I'm trying to do because it is something that we enjoy and then, you know, I'm a sucker for eating the, uh, the rainbows and colors. So I am introducing more colors in my broccoli. This is said to be a sprouting broccoli, but I want to see if I can get it to head as a normal broccoli to have frozen purple broccoli. You know, maybe the kids will eat it better or eat it without maybe this broccoli. I don't want to eat it. So maybe with purple broccoli, I don't know, maybe all of them will be eating broccoli. And then I'm trying this gorgeous Romanesco um it it, it it says it's broccoli but like if you look at it close like it's a cross of a cauliflower and a broccoli so i'm if it is the consistency and hardness of a cauliflower i will try to pickle it and then last year when i harvested um my last cauliflowers i had to purchase my seedlings out of nursery so i had 12 cauliflowers is it 12? Yeah, 12 cauliflowers. And I was able to harvest 10. I lost one to a chicken and one plant died on me. So eating fresh cauliflower changed my life. Like it was, it was beyond, beyond amazing. And then when I had my last four heads, I pickled it with hot peppers. It was, I can't even describe how much it was 
<laughs> I think we opened a quart jar and it was gone within that first meal. So obviously now I know that this year I have to pickle a lot of them. I will do hot peppers with hot peppers for us and with conventional peppers for the kids. They don't like hot. So that's what we'll do. And I want to add beautiful colors. Like, like you see this, like a traditional. And then I would love to add colorful cauliflower and pickle it. And also try to blanch them and freeze them and cabbages I love obviously I'm growing the green ones and the red ones but like look like this shape is not something that you would see in the store so that encouraged me to try to grow it and then this one as when it the colder it is the most red and purple it gets so if this doesn't work in the spring, I'm definitely giving it another try in the fall because I was told that if you grow it in the fall, the streaking on the cabbage is like even more, uh, the accent is more in the fall. But I am going to give it a go for the spring and I'm going to try it again for the fall and cover it because it is, it is a over 100 days cabbage. So we'll see what I can do with that. So this is what I'm going to do with all the, that food. Like... Uh, I went to the store the other day and I wanted to buy cauliflower and when I saw the price of it uh, it's getting more and more expensive broccoli same thing lettuce same thing so this like even though I failed the other day with my seedlings like I it just it, it caught on to me that I need to give it another try. So by giving it another try, now I'm really excited because I have something new. I have an experiment in the greenhouse. And if I can if I can make this work, that means I can have like crazy amount of cauliflower, broccoli, cabbage. And I rather have a problem of having too much, not knowing what to do with it and share with it with my loved ones, if that is the case, then having to go to the local nursery and because of the price, only having like 12 of each, which is not nearly enough what my family needs. So I am really, really, really looking forward to this experiment. I wanna say thank you for prepping in the homestead. This means a lot to me. If you like what you're seeing, make sure to do the thumbs up. Comment below anything that you want to say to me. I'm gonna, I read every single comment. Maybe not when you write them to me, but I do read every comment that is there. If you, if you want to subscribe, please do and hit the notification bell. You will have a notification every time I post a video. And last thing to support me, if you think that my videos can actually bring um, something useful to anyone you know, please share. That also helps me. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Bye.